Let's take a look at the tabletop speed spool. Um, it's uh, got a stainless steel supply rod um, with a machined flat on the top here. So uh, the T bolt on the tapered cone will have a place to locate. Um, the engagement hub has multiple locations for the engagement pin. We have brake pads in the housing here and ball bearings also. Um, the optional line counter, it's a digital unit and has a 10-year battery and a powder coated frame. Now the first thing you want to do is remove the cone. Most spools have holes in them for our engagement pin. Sometimes there's an exception to the rule. You may have to drill a hole, but 90% of the time you got a hole already in the in the spool. Put your supply spool on, put the cone on, slide it in there, and make sure everything's engaged. Push tight, tighten down the T-screw. Get that on the flat also. Uh, move it back and forth. Uh, check your tension on the brake. Uh, reset your line counter. Um, to tension the brake, you just take a wrench or your fingers and tighten it a quarter, half a turn. Do the top and the bottom equally. Test it. You can check it with a scale or just the feel. Get it like you like it. Now, let's uh, put the uh, spool and reel on. Um, this particular take-up spool, uh, bulk spool rather, I had to drill a hole in it, and uh, it wasn't any big deal because took a three-eighths drill and put a hole in it. Slide it on there, engage it in the uh, hub there, put the cone on, tighten that down. Uh, put your reel on the reel seat like you would a fishing rod. Just uh, put it on there, locate the saddle correctly, tighten down. Uh, you're going to want to adjust the reel up and down, forwards and backwards, and the uh, spool driver. You want to center everything. So let's move this up and down a little bit. You want the T driver to locate on the end of the crankshaft. So you bring that over, get it in the area, raise the uh, reel up or down, move it forwards and backwards, wherever it takes to get that center. So tighten everything back down, work your way around a little at a time. You don't have to do it all at once. Kind of move things, get it centered right. You want the reel centered with a spool and uh, tighten everything down. You want to have both of the units attached to the table for the best performance, either screwed down or using the hold down bar, optional hold down bar. You got one bolt, that's all it takes. Uh, it'll clamp them both to the table. You can either drill a hole through your table and come up from the bottom with a lag bolt, I mean a uh, carriage bolt, or down from the top with a lag bolt. However, you want to do it, tighten that down. Then uh, when you're cranking, you'll notice uh, sometimes with bigger reels and more tension, you'll get a little bit of wobble. So we have our uh, adjustment tools here, um, little levelers. Uh, they move up and down, adjustable. And stick those underneath the uh, reel, center them up. Uh, helps eliminate the wobble. And there you have it. Away you go. Simple. Nothing to it.